Okay, in this presentation, we're going to cover table sorting, filtering, paging, searching, and if that isn't enough, we're going to cover exporting. Okay, and here are some core assumptions that you are using the Django framework, that you are using template inheritance through the Django framework, and that you have already created your table and placed it in your HTML page. So our setup checklist is as follows. We're going to install data tables and all the options to include not only searching, sorting, filtering, and paging, but also exporting to different file types. Then we're going to talk about installing jQuery. We're going to modify our base HTML template, and we'll modify our child that's inheriting from base HTML. And then optionally, we're going to make uh, modifications to our data table settings so that we can take advantage of the exporting features that they have, which doesn't come natural out of the box. What is Data Tables? Data Tables is a free plugin for the jQuery JavaScript library. It has nothing to do with Django, but we can certainly take advantage of it, and we will. You see their definition. It's a highly flexible tool built upon the foundations of progressive enhancement that adds all of these advanced features to any HTML table, and it is slick. Wait until you see it. By advanced, they mean sorting, paging, searching, filtering, and also, if you want, and I certainly did, I wanted to take advantage of their exporting features to Excel, PDF, CSV, etc. And you see down at the bottom, take note, that is the website you, that you'll have to access, okay? Datatables.net. Okay, and we're going to cover this in just a little while when I take you through it. But this is here for you to stop at this moment and make sure that you have your base HTML set up like I have mine. You must have load static in there. You must have your block set up for uh, whatever you want to call it. I called mine block JS and end block. And you see it's after the footer is where I decided to put it and it works nicely. And then in our child template, there are a few things that you, you have to do here. So starting from the top, you see in my table, I have ID table underscore ID in quotes. You can really call that whatever you like, but the main point here is down at the bottom in our JavaScript, and you see the tags down there at the bottom, you have to make sure that you reference um, that table object, right? So it's pound table underscore ID in quotes. So that has to be that way as well. Otherwise, this won't work. The other things you have to make sure you do is, just like we had in our base table, now in the child table, we have our block JS tags. You have to have them set up just as I have mine. And then, of course, it, within those tags are, are the stuff that makes this work. Number one, we have our jQuery link. It's the first thing you see there. And then all the rest of those links, all the few that follow the four after, are all that I copied out of the CDN link, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in the slides to come up um, right after this. But you want to pause it here, and you want to make sure that you have this JavaScript section of the code in between script and script. You want to make sure that you have that exactly as I do there. That will give you the functionality to call the table, data, ta data table CDN code that you see there. And also the the input that doesn't come stock is that DOM, be clear, and the buttons. That's there for your buttons. There we make sure that we have the, the buttons for the export. So that has to be there as well. Okay, so here we are at the data table site, and we're going to go to downloads. The easiest way to get all this functionality is to use this little checkoff list that they have. So you choose your styling framework, which is data tables, and your package, and then you go for extensions. That's where the fun begins. And you see what I'm choosing. You can choose what you want. Autofill, buttons. I don't want flash export, but I want HTML5. Print. Click and drag, column reordering, key tables, responsiveness, etc., etc. I don't want scrolly, but I, I want to be able to select. Then we go down very easily to, you can pick any of these options, but I want the CDN because I think it makes it very easy, powered by Cloudflare. It's up all the time. So I just select these. And then I go into my base.html, which is my, my parent template, right? Because I'm using template inheritance and I make sure that I have the blocks, what I call block JS, right? My empty block tags there. 
and then I will go into my template, right, which is the the child template, which inherits from. Uh, you don't see the you don't see the include, but it's up at the top, and you see the block JS is now filled with those tags that I just got from data tables plus the JavaScript. Take note of the job JavaScript because you're gonna have to to have that exactly as I have it there in between the script tags down at the bottom underneath all of those, okay? You'll see it. You'll see script to script. This is our JavaScript. This is the engine that makes this all work. Then you'll see a line about the the buttons and the copy, you know, the copy, the Excel PDF, all the exports there. So you'll need that just like this. So, so copy it just like it is. Be mindful of all the different uh, brackets and parentheses there. In my ID, it gives you some information if you don't do it well. Now, here's very important. The table ID, just as it is here, pound table ID has to correspond to the identifier in my table. And you see it's table ID without the pound in quotes. Very important to get that right. That syntax is very important. You can have whatever table stylings you want from Bootstrap or uh, HTML, but you have to get that right. You also have to have the, the heads, T-H-E-A-D, tags and the t-body tags right can't be body has to be t-body okay so here we are at the yogi coder homepage, and we want to access where our table is which is under courses this is all in progress so don't get too spun up and here we have it here we have our wonderful table with all our bells and whistles we have our search features we have our sort features on all columns you see there each and every column i can search which is just such a wonderful feature and just narrow down my choices if the table's large this becomes more impressive then at the bottom i'm able to page I'm able to show different amounts of rows in my list. It totals for me. And then I have these wonderful exports. You can copy to clipboard if you'd like. And here we can export to PDF, Excel, CSV. They all look wonderful. Look how beautiful it is. I mean, it's just wonderful. It does all the formatting for you. And here, here we can search on just a few rows, and it has a very nice feature that it will export the PDF of just that view. So if you just want a few, you can get that as well. If you just want two to highlight or whatever the case may be by year. Right now, this data doesn't serve us for that because it's all the same year. But you see, a wonderful, wonderful PDF on just these two. Excel looks beautiful as well. No matter what format you want, Data Tables has it all covered.